hello everyone in this video i'm going to calculate median from continuous data and uh, this is the question right in front of me find the median from the following data and uh, so i have been given with the classes as well as with the frequencies right here you could see the first class is 0 to 10 and the frequency given is 5 the second class is 10 to 20 the frequency given is 10 is 10 and so on and i want to find out the median so the formula changes a bit in terms of continuous classes this is the formula for median right here where L is the lower limit of the median class capital N represents the total number of values CF suffix minus 1 means cumulative frequency of the previous class FM means frequency of median class and I means the class interval so uh, first of all uh, since I am going to use a cumulative frequency function here I will be calculating the cumulative frequency in this question so I am going to calculate cumulative frequency here you can uh, refer uh, my previous videos of arithmetic mean in order to understand the cumulative frequency so uh, how do i calculate the cumulative frequency and this will be from top to bottom that means the first frequency remains 5 and what is the combined frequency from from 0 to 20 that will be 10 plus 5 that means 15 similarly combined frequency from 0 to 30 will be 20 plus 15 that makes it 35 Similarly, 0 to 40, what is the combined frequency? 35 plus 8, that, that makes it 43. And the last frequency is 43 plus 3, that makes it 46. The end result in cumulative frequency is always equal to summation to f, which is pretty logical too, because 46 is representing all the frequencies falling within 0 to 50. Now what I do is, the next step after calculating cumulative frequency is, I calculate the value of n by 2. So what is n? n is equal to summation of f, that means sum of frequencies, which I have already told it is 46. So first step is to calculate n by 2, which becomes 46 by 2, and that comes out to be 23. Now what I do is, this 23, which is the value of n by 2, I start comparing with the cumulative frequency, and I select the class which exceeds 23. Remember, which exceeds, not equals. Why I am doing so? because upper limit of the class is excluded. So if I find something equal and the upper limit belong, uh, becomes the median, then it is a wrong value technically because upper limit is excluded from the particular class. So I always see the exceeding value. That means I'll be checking a value which is exceeding 23. So five is less than 23, 15 is less, 35 is exceeding. Moment I find a value which exceeds my uh, n by 2 value that particular class becomes my median class that means my median class is this now what is the value of l here that means lower limit of the frequency class uh, sorry median class that becomes 20 this is l n by 2 i have already calculated that is 23 what is cf minus 1 that becomes cumulative frequency previous to the median class so median class is this the Cumulative frequency of previous to median class is 15 right here. So this becomes my value of CF minus 1. Sorry, I'll write 15 here. Then what is this value? FM, that means frequency of median class. Frequency of median class is this 20 right here. So this is frequency of median class. I is the class interval of median class 20 to 30. The class interval is 10. So I have uh, fit in all the values, I found all the values. For your uh, convenience, what I'm going to do is, I'm also going to write the terminology against the particular values. This 15 is the value of cumulative frequency of previous class. This is the value of frequency of median class. This is the value of uh, 20 is the value of L, that means lower class limit. And I is the class width between 20 to 30. Let's go ahead, let's plug the values in the formula. Now my median is going to be L, which is 20, plus N by 2, which I have already calculated, 23, minus cumulative frequency to uh, previous to median class, which is 15 right here, divided by frequency of median class, which is 20 right here, times I, which is 10, class width, from 20 to 30. And uh, after doing some calculations, what do I find is 20 plus 80 divided by 20 right here. And that gives me the median value of how much? 
24. So this is the median value. That means uh, half of these observations. That means uh, how many total observations are there? 46. So half of the observations are below 24, and half of the observations are above 24. So this is how do you calculate uh, the median in the cumulative frequency loss. Thank you.